Hello everyone, today I'm starting the yearly reading for 2023. I really hope that this new year brings lots of love, happiness, abundance and prosperity to all of you. I want to thank each and every one of you personally for being with me on this journey of Delhi Tarot and a special thanks to all those people who have been with Delhi Tarot in the journey of taking their private readings, their healings, for their life in general, for their money, career, finances. They trusted Delhi Tarot so much to share their love, relationship, and personal matters so much. And I'm so thankful that you have been uh, counting on Delhi Tarot time and again to seek blessings, to seek guidance, to seek support in finding a resolution, a solution to your problems and issues in life. So I wish each and every one of you a very, very happy new year. And this is the Sun, Moon, Rising 2022 reading for my dear Libras out there. I shall be doing the yearly reading Sun Sign Wise. I shall be doing the Money, Career, Finances reading separately as per each sign. And I might do readings as per numerology as well. Please keep in mind that these are the general group reading for any personal private reading by now. You know very well that you can email to us and our email ID and the website is mentioned in the description box below. Just write an email to me with your name, with your time zone. It is very important for me because Delhi Tarot is working across group. We are working across globe with all the clients in different, different time zones. So the private personal readings are fixed as per your time zone and my time zone because I am currently in IST time zone, that is Indian standard time zone. So with core of my heart, I want to thank each and every one of you. And I hope you'll be able to resonate with your yearly readings for sure. Straight to your reading right away here. This is going to be a very, very detailed reading. I shall be pulling out the energies for the complete year. Then I shall be pulling out the angel message. And I'm going to pull one card for each month to see the month in detail. In the end, I'm going to also pull out the divine door message for your ear. So this is the yearly reading 2023 for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Libra. It's a group reading for personal private readings, pre-booked, pre-slotted readings. Please do email it to us. And if you really like what we do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications, angels and spirits. What are the energies for my dear Libra out there? In the year 2023, we have appreciation for you, Libra. Amazing. What a beautiful beginning of the card. You have community and the number seven. So you do have number six. You do have number seven out there. And you have the thinking man. That's the number one. So the angel number for you is six, seven, one. I'm going to read the meaning of the angel numbers just in a while. And let me pull out your angel messages as well for the year 2023. You have, it is up to you, Libra. The situation will improve. And I'm shuffling this again. Little compromise on your end. Okay. Now, if I see the energy reading, this year is going to be the better year for you than the all the previous recent year. You're going to see one level up in your personal life and professional life. The appreciation is going to be received by you in all areas of life. And the card of community says that there is a happy time which you are going to see for sure. And this is also a message that yes, when you network more with people, when you are going to meet more with people, 
you are going to have a enhancement into your life meeting with people into your personal life into your professional life is going to bring better opportunities for you to grow in personal and professional life this is also a very beautiful card of for people who are looking forward to marriages definitely there is a celebration which is coming into your life in the year 2023 and this celebration is primarily into your personal life and the overall year you will be thinking a lot you will be planning a lot you will be making more of strategies in all aspects of your life and the thinking man ensures that you will also be surrounded by lot of thinking intellectual people around you in the year 2023 people with great knowledge people with great wisdom people with great experience and exposure are bound to meet you in the year 2023 and before i move forward i would definitely like to read the angel number meaning 671 because that is the a very very strong angelic message for you and the number says this situation is determined by the degree that you use positive words in your thoughts speech and writing the more positive you are the better the outcome it is important for you libra that you are very very positive throughout the year because what you think and what you say is going to become your destiny for sure in your angel answers how you want to carry your life it absolutely depends on you that is why the angel number was so important that you think you say it is up to you what you want to say what you want to think because that is going to be your time ahead it is your belief system how you want to carry forward in personal and professional life it is absolutely as per your own wish because things are going to get manifested accordingly and whatever situation you are currently right now in personal life in love in relationships health wise money wise career wise finance wise the overall situation is definitely going to improve for sure overall i do see there is a recovery period but the recovery is going to come with little adjustments little compromise little modification needed from your side for sure so the overall year is going to be better than the previous year when i say previous better than 2022 but yes the year demands adjustments modifications and compromise from your end as well that was your energy and the angel message now let us see what each month is going to offer to us and in the end i'm also going to pull a very secret divine door message for you okay angels and spirits messages for each month please this is going to be your detailed reading i'm going to pull one card for each month and i'm going to pull first six cards then the next six cards january february march april may and june let us see what do we have in the first 6 months so in the month of january you have the air signs your own energies it's five of sword there are possibilities that there is little animism jealousy around you the month of january calls you to protect your information to protect yourself keep the sensitive information just with yourself and the five of swords in the month of january says that it is the time you need to be very very cautious try to filter people people who are your really well wisher people who are not or seems to be and five of sword is also a situation wherein there is lot of negativity which is spreading because of your communication so communication has to be very very clear libra you have to take extra ordinary caution that when you are talking to people in your personal professional life you are not that blunt you are not that rude and you are doing very careful precautions taking precautions you are doing careful communication 
in the month of January. So January has a theme that you need to pay attention to your communication. In the month of February, you have a death card. There is a major ending coming to your life. This ending is definitely an ending which is going to release you from pain. Whatever you have been through, if there has been a prolonged illness, it is going to come to an end. Mental illness, emotional illness or physical illness. It is also an end to a, of a painful relationship. This relationship could be personal, a love relationship. It could be an abusive marriage also. It could also be a very painful, disrespectful job. Or it could be a, a business which is not giving you any worth. Whatever may be the situation, because this is a group reading, there is a major ending which is coming to, things are coming to an end. And the death card always ensures that there is a major end, but the end will also give rise to a major beginning for sure. So in the month of February, expect a major ending coming to your life. And you have four of cups in the month of March, which says that yes, there will be opportunities around you. Things are going to be better. But whatever is being offered to you by nature, it doesn't seem that you are going to take much of interest. So in the month of March, you might feel that whatever is coming to your life, you're not that interested, whatever is being offered and you're waiting still for the right people to connect, right opportunities to come to you or right life purpose to get in alignment with. So there are possibilities that you might get more opportunities, more options, more choices, but then you have to see what suits you the most and suits you the best. Let us see what do we have in the month of April. We have Ace of Cup. That's a wonderful beginning of a new relationship. Now, Ace of Cup is a card which definitely brings a new love relationship into your life. If you are looking for a new love relationship, new soulmate connection, new partnership in love, but Ace of Cup is a beautiful energy, the presence of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy into your reading, which says that your intuition is going to get enhanced, especially from the month of March, April. And Ace of Cup is also a beautiful card, beautiful energy, which says that there is a possibility of you getting a brilliant opportunity through reference, through word of mouth. But during the month of April, there are high possibilities that your intuition is going to guide you. Your inner wisdom is going to guide you ahead for sure. In the month of May, you have Page of Sword, which is another your own energy Libra. The communication is definitely important here again, but it is important that Page represents a message. If you see your month consecutively, you have Ace of Cups and you have Page of Swords back to back in the month of April and May, which says that definitely there is a very high possibility of you getting more messages related to your personal life, related to your professional life, as much as possible. But Page of Sword also says that you might ignore the advice of your well-wishers or your dear ones. It is up to you how you're considering these messages advises from people around you but page of sword has a capability of you know behaving like childlike and not listening to elders or seniors or well wishes just food for your thought libra and in the month of june you have knight of swords again this is your energy which says that yes you will be moving very very fast in your personal and professional life and there are high possibilities that since you are not listening to your well-wishers, you might fall little. And I'm so happy that you're listening to this reading. So the month of May and the month of June is a very important month wherein you have to take care of your speed. You have to take care of what you're talking. You have to take care of your words, how you're communicating, what tone you're using. You need to be very careful with your communication, Libra. Time and again, I'm trying to request you, but there is a lot of movement going to come into your personal professional life, especially into your professional life. 
more opportunities falling, you meeting more people, you going for more meetings and discussions, things are going to take very fast pace by mid of next year that is June 2023. So we have only one major Arcana card in the month of February. Rest I do see that there are minor uh, events every month. Now let us see your remaining six months the second part of the the second part of the year from July to December 2023. So in the month of July you have the Hierophant, that is the major Arcana card. In the month of August, you have Seven of Cups, against the, again the presence of Cancer Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. In the month of September, you have a card of Strength, another major Arcana card. In the month of October, you have Nine of Cups, wonderful, that's a wish fulfillment. In the month of November, you have five of wands. And in the month of December, you have four of pentacles. A lot of numbers are coming into your reading. And if I see your pending six months, let us start from July. So in the month of July, you have the Hierophant, which is a major arcana card. It tells you not to experiment at all. Keep on moving on the path you have been following for yourself in personal and professional life. Your own values, your own ethics, the way you are proceeding into the life is really going to help you out primarily. And in the month of August, you have Seven of Cups, which says there will be much more opportunities than ever before. But the, all the gold glitters are not, you know, shining glitters are not gold. You have to choose what is good for you, what is not. So these opportunities are going to come to you. Good ones, average ones, and not so good one. You need to choose which opportunity is going to be fruitful for you. But you have to be very careful. Look at both sides of the coin. See pros and cons, strength and weaknesses. Seven of Cups is a situation which can create confusion, which can create dilemma into your mind, which way to go. And for that, we have Delhi Tarot to take suggestions on. But yes, if you want to go ahead on your own, Please trust your intuition. Please trust your inner guidance. First thought, first feeling when you ask question from yourself is generally the strongest of intuition. Put more emphasis into that. Just put more emphasis on your intuition and you will get the right answer. In the month of September, you have a presence of Leo energy, the strength. Your own patience, your own courage, your own willpower, your own inner heart strength is going to pull you out from a very, very difficult situation, Libra. The card of strength says that there could be a difficult situation. You need to pull it out from your own with the ba on the basis of your very strong heart. So the month of September will require more of courage, boldness from your side in order to convert a situation into a blessing and here comes the beautiful energy of nine of cups in the month of October Libra your own month there is a very big wish fulfillment coming to your life this wish fulfillment will be in the area of your choice a dream home a dream job a dream soulmate marriages for a lot of you a dream come true is the real meaning of nine of cups for you libra and the month of november has five of wands which says that yes there could be arguments there could be disagreements into your life during this time there is a high possibility that your thought process is not matching with people around you it could be personal it could be professional because five of wand is a situation when your thought process goes not with the people but in a different direction so there is a possibility of disagreements or arguments on the basis of difference in the thought process in the month of november now five of wands is a situation that if you want to participate in that argument that is going to be your choice but if you want to withdraw from your drama from that drama of people 
arguing, not agreeing. It is your choice whether you want to participate or withdraw from the situation. And the beautiful energy of Four of Pentacles we have in the month of December. Just hold what you have in your hand. Grab it. Whether it's money, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a home, don't allow to let it go. Just keep hold and four of pentacles also brings little stability into your life, Libra. Four of pentacles is a situation wherein, yes, you are little rigid, you're little stubborn, but then it is recommended that whatever you have in your life, in personal life, in relationships, in professional life, in money, career, finances, hold it. Hold it. Don't lose it. Don't allow it to go. Let it be. Whatever situation is going through, let it be. You keep the hold of things, stuff you have in your hand or relationships you have into your hand. That's the energy of four of pentacles for you. But it's a very, very balanced reading, Libra, because you do have... The presence of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy into your reading a lot. This year is going to be a, a year more of emotions for you. You will be thinking a lot of things from an emotional viewpoint. You also have a presence of Libra. You also have a presence of Libra. You know, a Gemini, Aquarius energy, your own energy into reading. You also have the energy of fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you do have glimpse of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So if I see your overall reading, it is definitely a very balanced reading, but I do see that there will be a balance between the emotional side and the balance between the practical, rational, logical side is needed. You need to create a balance between both of it because there are equal amount of cards which are showing your intellectual, your wisdom here. And there are equal cards which are showing and popping up again and again with your emotions taking over the rational and the logical aspect of life. So that was your whole reading. Now let us see what messages do we have from Divine Doors. Messages for my dear Libra people out there. And let us see what messages do we have for you from Divine Doors. For my dear Libra out there, we already have a flyer, but I'm going to pull three cards for you, Libra. And it says, oh my goodness, it says offering. Abundance lies in the heart that allows, share more than expected and see love come around. So sharing is going to bring much more abundance for you, dear Libra. And the other message is distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free. As you dare dream it, so it must be. That is a very, very clear information, clue or a claim significance that you're, something which you feel you cannot achieve very far, you're going to get it. You're going to grab it in the coming year for sure, Libra. And your last card is change because, and it says the path is shifting, the road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change becomes today. So this offering, the new offering into your life, the distant dream, which seems to be very, very far Libra, all these new energies are actually going to change the direction of your life. When I say change the direction of your life, when you're seeing the reading today in the year 2022 and after one year you will see that you have come a very very long way and this long way is going to prove a worth change for you because this change is going to get in aligned with your life purpose Libra and this change is going to bring a lot of opportunities for you not just for abundance but for very very peaceful happy life which is going to match up with your complete soul life purpose ahead and the overall balance in the year there is going to be a lot of thinking a lot of self-introspection a lot of adjustments and all these small small things are going to bring a very very big and a huge change for you for sure. So dear Libra, that was your lovely reading for the year 2023. 
Do let me know how you resonated with the reading. Please keep in mind this is a group general reading. For any personal private reading, it's a paid process. Please connect with me with that understanding. I really appreciate your understanding on that. All personal private readings are paid processes, prepaid, pre-purchased, pre-booked, pre-slotted. Hope to see you in personal capacity very soon. Best of luck and a lovely year ahead to all my dear followers out there. Happy New Year.